Mm -hmm. Hi everyone! Can you hear me? Please let me know in comments if you can hear me well. Let me know in comments if you can hear me well and we can start drawing today. I'm wishing you a good evening and hope you're enjoying this amazing weather. It's just fantastic and it's really so sunny and warm here in Dublin. And I hope you're enjoying this beautiful Sunday and thank you for joining me for drawing today. I just love our art evenings with you guys. So, I need to move this way, I think, yeah. So, today we will be drawing peonies flowers with uh, soft pastels, with pastel pencils. I just will show you an idea of how it will look. So we'll be drawing it today. Hope you can see it well. Yeah, I'm just trying to understand in order you can see it in the camera. So we'll be drawing today with soft pastels and um, what you will need. Well, so I see that you can hear me well. So you will need for this drawing um, paper. So I will be using black one paper and I usually use for uh, drawing with pastels this one. And if you have some other paper, it's absolutely fine. It could be any toned pa paper. So it can be this one with just toned one paper, something that works for pastels. It can be pastel mart, whatever paper you have, what you will prefer today. So I have different kind of uh, papers, so any will work great. So I will be using black paper in order to pop up our flowers. So it will be black one for for me today but you can use whatever you wish so and I, we will be drawing pink and white peonies flowers so you will need pastels pencils or maybe pastel soft pastels so i have just a simple fabric castle soft pastels it will be perfect just to make uh, forms and shadows and then you can use any pastels pencils pastel pencils or maybe you will decide to draw everything with color pencils. It also works well. So I will just wait a little bit in order everyone can uh, join me today and then we will start and then we are starting uh, drawing. I will switch my camera on my table and we will start shading. So let me know if you are ready today. To start, everything ready, paper ready, um, pa uh, pencils ready, soft pastel ready, and grab your tea, uh, uh, your drink. It could be water or something you, you need. Just relax, switch on relaxing music, and let's have some fun, enjoyment. I think that drawing with pastels brings so much enjoyment and it's very meditative also. So it's just amazing time to spend with. And when you also have an idea that you are getting a beautiful picture at the end, so it's spending the time with purpose. What can be better, guys? I think it's just a great opportunity to get good skills art skills during our 
quarantine time when we are spending it all together so i will just prepare my paper on table and we will start drawing so i ready i hope you're ready guys i will just organize my table you know that you all can see it what i will be doing here so just put in the paper and i am switching the camera now so let's start i will switch the camera on my table yeah perfect you can see it i, I hope let me know if you can see it good and because i'm trying to send videos in several like yeah you can see it well if you are watching on instagram then probably it will be not the full size of screen and if you are watching on youtube then you will see it perfectly so i will just fix my table here and organize it here we go so guys if you want to see it on the full screen then go on my youtube channel and you will see the video there in full screen and it will be easy to draw while on instagram if you want to have an idea of what we will be doing this is a great opportunity too you will just see and then take your time and draw within the comfort of your home later and it also works great like if you have this crystal paper to prepare in order not to smooth because it can be easily smooth so sometimes when you're walking it's a great idea just to put this crystal paper and to move um, your uh, hand slowly not to mix the drawing so or you can use the rubber and just rub it out it's also fine so i will be using it drawing our drawing today and just checking that everything is ready and we will start so we will start uh, with the composition on our paper and we are drawing two flowers today as we, i'm usually planning about 45 minutes and i'm not going into much details we'll just get an idea of flowers but then you can walk yourself properly and go into as many details as you wish so i also have a bright light here so some details are very very bright here i can see it on the screen but i hope it's fine so we are starting with dividing our paper uh, in two parts the big one is here uh, on the left and the smaller part is here for the white flower the white flower is uh, somewhere far away from us so we don't see it properly that is why if you will look here you will see that it's smooth and it's not so much details on white uh, flower and this is like we are working with perspective as well air perspective here so we have in this small picture as well and that is why we will walk into more details go into more details on the uh, pink flower and less details on the white one and if you wish to go into more details you can go on your own so i'm just giving an idea and the flower is like a circle so this is my circle here and this is my smallest circle will be here it will be white flower i'm just giving an idea now i will go into details with petals so I need to go and give the shape of petals. I'm not pressing too hard. If you are working with chalks or if it's with pencil, it's absolutely the same. So if you are using the pencil, then don't press too much and just go and give an idea of the shape. I will use the chalk in the way it will be faster and more simple for me because we are limited here on time. And that is why I will just using my chalks so i'm just giving an idea of petals and trying to repeat them if something is not perfect it's absolutely fine because nothing is perfect in nature and we are not going into as much details now as, as, as we need it we don't need it now so i'm just giving an idea of the shape of the flower this is how we start and you can 
make it more pink now that or go later into details and now I will use dark green just to make to show the central part of the flower if you can see the circles I will make like five squished circles here this will be the central part but I don't see the whole part because petals will be um, clo uh, just hide hiding from the viewer so I will just make it brighter and you will see this central parts so you can shade it and go into more details later if you wish and work with pencils it's absolutely great to add some details with pencils it's just with pencils it's just to give an idea of this central part so you have already understand where is the central part of your flower that's it and i will work now on this one properly but first i can go and show you how easily we can create this white flower this is just absolutely faultless I, I would like to do i won't be going into much details it's somewhere far away so this flower and i know that you are not like um, on instagram i see that i need to move my, my paper a little bit so i will just move it a little bit here yeah perfect so this is the center part and i'm just giving an idea of the flower i'm just not doing it like very properly i'm just giving some idea of the flower which is situated here and some petals and then if you wish you can go into more details but we will do it later if we will be on time if not you can work it on it later but don't go into as much details just leave it some food for our brain to work out and to understand that this is really a flower and this is probably peonies flowers so and this is the way of I would say a la prima technique of walking or like plein air walk, walking techni technique so it has the full right for existence and then we when we have this idea of this flower already we have it then we will return to it later while we are walking all around the whole canvas now we are not living and concentrated on one flower we are just walking all around and this is like usually artists walk they walk all around a little bit here a little bit there and we're given the idea and here we, you will need now a paper not to smooth this flower so if you have crystal paper if you don't have crystal paper you can like this one you to cover it not to smooth it with your uh, hand when you will be working on a pink one flower and you can use a baking piece of paper or any other paper it also guys will work perfectly so i'm just making a little bit brighter the light I, uh, we will decide the light source will come from the right right to the left so these petals which are on the top will be the brightest and this one can go into the shadow so we gave an idea of this flower and we have the full right not to go into much details like on the screen i see it will be very bright in reality it's not so bright but i will walk on details if i will have time later or you will walk on your own here we go so our flower is ready and it looks amazing now and we will go to walk on a more details on the right on the left side now so we are moving to our pink flower i'm just trying to fix the paper and to put it in order you can see it as well so now i'm moving to this one yeah and now we will go into details with this pink one if you have rubber please use 
uh, like kneadable rubber or very soft rubber like I have this Stabila rubber if you have pencils of Stabila then they usually give you rubber with it so I'm putting this paper here in order not to smooth or just you can put it any paper and we will go on this pink one so we are working from the central part and now we will go on to the details that around this central part usually flowers have some filaments and an answer so i will give just an idea of this with pencil i will use light one like i'm drawing the straight lines here i'm just giving an idea And let me know if you are on time. If I'm too fast, then I will slow down to give you time to draw and go into more details. And you can use brighter pencils here and even a little bit yellow. Like don't use two. Here we go with answers. Just drawing these dots. So and then we will color it with some uh, petals and I will, they will be not only like yellow, they can be a little bit brown and a little bit white and we will return to this part later so don't walk like too properly now trying to do everything we are just given ideas of this in order you can work hard on it on yourself later and this part again this left part will be a little bit brighter than the right one but the light will be going all around and try to do it randomly and then we can work with chalks so we already have an idea of central part of the flower and now I will go with the petals so I will take a white pencil in order to go into details and to show you the shape of the petals so let's start from left to the right, going this way. And um, if I'm too fast, let me know if I'm okay for you and you are with me in drawing. So just let me comments on Instagram or on YouTube if you are watching on YouTube. And now we are going with the, the shape of petals here and they're a little bit curved to the central part because it's really like a bow imagine a, uh, a bowl drawing so and the shading and shaping the secret is or a tip will be that it will be like shading a bowl the same rules we will be using here so and this is like from the academical drawing I would say if you have not studied it then I give you an idea that this will be the lightest part and here we will go into shadows and this what I love with drawing about the petals that you can uh, learn this drawing rules easily like it's a simple more or less, I would say, a simple way to study these rules of drawing. So, I hope you enjoy like while drawing. And you, of course, must, uh, the, the secret is you have to enjoy the subject you are drawing. So, if you love peonies, uh, flowers, as I do, then you are definitely enjoying it. And this is the secret to success, like to make a beautiful painting, which you can just frame it later and I have shown you in the beginning how beautiful it, it can look with beautiful frame and um, if you are drawn in a professional paper like if it's pastel mark or even this paper I'm using it's just a pad black pad frisk so you don't need to use a fixative or something um, because it will keep your pastel drawing very good on this paper and not to smooth it out so because what you can get with um, fixatives that 
they can make the picture really dark. So be careful with it. And what I'm doing now, I'm just going with petals, with drawings, and I'm just giving an idea, building a flower, if you wish, just creating the shapes. And then we will be sh uh, shading the petals one by one. And it will make it easier when you shade it one by one. So, and now I have given this idea of flower and I will try to keep it. We will see how it will go. So I will just draw some movements of patterns and giving an idea and just trying to repeat the lines I have given in the sketch before. So if you will have different petals and it doesn't matter because you are creating your own flower and of course it will be different from mine, but try to keep this ball circle shape and go with petals in absolutely random direc directions so you will be sure that you are still on the shape. So, and then you can easily, what I love about pa uh, pastel drawings, that you can u easily change the shape, you can easily move with your fingers the shape and correct it in any direction you wish, guys. So this is very enjoyable and very, I would say, m more meditative material for drawing because you have this f connection with pencil and if you're drawing with chalk you have connection with paper and it's probably the only material when maybe oils as well when you are drawing with fingers on the paper and it's very relaxing so we'll work on this once so a little bit edit a little bit more petals here as I see so I will just try to repeat it here and maybe make it bigger and then correct so even don't need a rubber here and here we go just some petals and one more here just to maybe I will need to go this way and here I will add some more petal just not to mix you up just to give this that's it so um, and now I will be shading this petals so if you have finished it we can go together I will give you just few seconds to finish your petals and we will start shading them so while I will add some st just stem here, so I will just go with a pencil, giving an idea of a stem, and it's a curved line. What I am doing, nothing special. You are not missing too much. Don't worry. Just finish your petals, and we will go with petals and then I will show you just an idea of leaves uh, and you will if you wish you will end your leaves finish your leaves later like I will give you an idea of drawing it but we won't be having a lot of time today to finish them so maybe next time we will go into more details with petals so we will start I hope you have finished your petals and now we'll be shading them. So we can start shading it. If you are working with pencils, you will have more time. You, you will need more time to finish them. But if you are uh, working uh, with uh, cho uh, chalks, it will be much faster. So I will be mixing. I will be mixing because I will be 
going from dark to the light and mixing it um, with chalk and with pencils. And if you are working only with pencils, then just give yourself a little bit more time to finish it. So I see you are going with me, so we will continue. So our petals will be lighter on the top and darker to the central part. So when they are connected to the central part, they will be darker. This is the secret, like you keep it in mind while you are shading, as well as these petals will be warmer because the warm light is coming from the side. So I will have the whole right to add some yellow, not too bright yellow. I would, uh, I would say just, add some light yellow just to mix it into petals because this is too like too yellow for me and I will just give you an idea where you will have to add I will just show in you now where you will have to add this yellow light so probably here here will be a shadow but somewhere here and here you can draw some yellow light when you will be shading and here you will add some maybe a little bit blue or a little bit more purple pencil here so I will add some purple here when I will come to these petals I'm just giving you like direct directions where you will have to go so and now I'm just what I'm doing I'm just shading my petals this is my favorite part I would say so and trying to show that they are curved a little bit and dropping some shadows here and going in the direction of the petals so and mixing if you are working with pastels and you have to mix you can mix it also use this one this is perfect like you can mix it but usually with pencil it's usually i use it when i work in some small places but where i can walk with finger and i walk almost everywhere then i will be using my finger that's the secret and we remember that um, shadow is here so when the shadow is here the, we add some blue and some dark colors and if you are going to the light then we are going with white and light colors more bright because they're going up to us this is the tip to keep in your mind and it will help you while you are shading your petals let me know how it's going guys you know that i will have an idea that you are drawing still with me <laughs> that you are here and if i need to slow down also just let me know but hope you are on time doing this and this is really a great way to start with if you are looking for starting working with pastel with color pencils it's a great material and very enjoyable to work with so all the folded petals will which are going up to us will be brighter and this inside the flower they will be darker and you can add actually there more color because to the central part of the flower it will be brighter if it's pink uh, pink then it will be pinker so and then if you're working even i'm working with pencils i'm also mixing it up that's it and with um, chalks it will be faster and easy for you so if you are working with chalks then probably you are going ahead than i do so and i will be interested to see your artworks so don't forget to send me and to share in order i can then post them on instagram and all can see how beautiful and creative you are guys and i just love watching what you are creating because all of you are so creative and creating beautiful art 
So, and we are here to study and to get skills. And this is a great way to spend this time to f this purpose and to think about of that you spend this time with purpose and get some results. And then to look at the picture after the quarantine, if you will be drawn with me, you will get a lot of pictures. So many of your friends will get beautiful presents, I think, or all your living space or maybe the staircase will be just decorated with your artworks created during quarantine time. So let's dream about this. <laughs> Let, let's think that it will move us going forward. So you see I'm mixing now on the yellow where I have shown you before that um, uh, you are showing this light coming to the petal and I'm keeping it with yellow shadow and then it's becoming like a, a light dropping on our petals and you can add a little bit lighter yellow then so you mix up the colors and go with fingers and then repeat if you want to make it brighter that's it and you are doing this the same with all petals so even if you won't be on time today with me to finish all the petals then take your time after this live and finish your flowers and don't forget to share with me guys <laughs> and finish your flowers no stress here just enjoyment and excitement so we are very relaxed here we are not in a hurry And I'm going in the same way all around my flower and just adding shadows and lights. It's all about working with shadow and lights. And at the end of the day, if you want to add some, some more details here to show the patterns of the petals, you absolutely can do it. Well, in my case, it won't be my I would say not wish but it won't be what I'm something looking for for me I like more impressionists manner just to concentrate more on color light shadows this is what is interesting for me that is why I'm not into much details I'm not going for this because I think that our mind can um, work all on the details and we just give an idea of it. But if you wish to go into more details, you can, but you will spend just a little bit more time after this video and add some details and then it will be looking more realistic. If you are into maybe deeper realism drawing, then you will need definitely more time to finish it. And you absolutely can do it with your pencils and with your chalks. So it's a great material to do so. And all like on the folding parts, you will see where the light goes and you add some lights there with white and with slight pink. So it will work in this time. So I will add a little bit light and shadow and go with these folded parts here and try not to just to mix all the pastel. So I have to keep my hand up in order to go with this. And look, it's already beautiful, guys. It's already amazing. And we are not even finished it. <laughs> we are only in the very, very beginning. So we are just started and it's already beautiful. This is why probably I like to draw uh, flowers because you can't never go wrong with them. And if you want me to draw something special, maybe not flowers, or something else just give me an idea what you want me to draw next time send in comments uh, give me maybe send me 
message on Instagram what you would like to draw with me next time. Why not? Like we are all sitting in this quarantine, so we have some time to do this. And this is amazing, like to use this time to develop new skills. So we all will come out after quarantine with a lot of new skills, guys. A lot of. <laughs> So you remember that in the center it will be more like dark pink and then you go lighter when you go outside the flower. So it will be a little bit lighter petals and some shadows we will drop here. If you are working on light paper then you will have to add more shadows by using gray pencils maybe. I have also gray, just cool gray. You can add then in petals this gray. You see, I'm just shading it gray. And you can do it the same on the white paper. So it will work perfectly for you. Like I'm doing now. So I'm just mixing gray and pink and still you can't see it as pink, but actually it's a cooler light. Like camera can not show this all details, but it's really, believe me, <laughs> believe me guys, it's really like cool, cooler color, not so warm one. And this is what we'll get here in this shadow. It will be cooler, colder colors colder yeah colder colors that's it so for the colder i will use this purple and i will add a little bit white at the light still here but not that bright as this one you see this is brighter this is a little bit not so bright but it's still purple and pink And when I was thinking about to, to draw peonies, some of you asked me to draw peonies, you know? So I was thinking and watching for the photos of these flowers. And there are so many beautiful colors to use. So you can use and peach and other colors and warmer one. But today we will be drawn on pink, but it doesn't necessary that you all the time have to use pink, no. For this one pink and white but you can make it a little bit more peach like more warmer if you have warmer pencils or warmer chalks a little bit different shadow of pink it's also great so and and mixing some petals so I'm going again and trying not to put my hand everywhere so it's still everywhere and we will see what we'll have and I need some darker color here so I will probably add try to add a little bit this color here just to make it deeper look and I see already that I'm getting it so a little bit like darker one and then I, I will go on the bottom of the petals with this one and continue drawing these petals with white pencil and go into the pink and purple pink and purple this is the shadows and then you can even add some blue one i will just try now to add some cool like it must be really cool i don't see that i have this cool but i will try to add and mix some even purple 
and it works greatly. I see that it works greatly. So in this shadow parts, I can absolutely add this purple pencil and then go with white. Just check it out. And if you want it to look brighter, then you add some chalk because only chalk will make this so bright look. Uh, it's difficult to get this bright look on black paper with pencils. So use then, just use then your chalk. And actually we don't need so much colors here. We don't need so many chalks here. And you actually can use very simple like six or 12, I would say. Um, packages of chalks if you don't have many at home then the simple one you can buy almost everywhere so and I'm shading this petals also this folded parts so I'm just adding it here and shading it and on the bottom and they won't be so as they will be still light but not so bright as in this part so and I'm just mixing and these petals I will remove this and these petals will be brighter a little bit brighter so and still you can have to, you can see this yellow a little bit light and a little bit pink so just mix it up together and add this petals some movements and some giving some directions to them and mixing with lighter pink so you still have time for our green leaves so i'm giving you time to finish your petals and we will go just I will give you an idea how to drop some green leaves and if you will want to what I'm doing now I'm just raising this like the uh, pastels that I sm smoothed with my fingers I'm just making it more perfectly shaded so I'm just giving an idea of shape here just adding some and then don't forget that on the end of the petals they will be lighter so not too dark just keep it in mind always and go so if you want finished all the petals when I go to the green leaves don't worry go with the green leaves with me and then you will see how to make these green leaves and you will finish then your petals later. This is absolutely manageable. No stress, no rush, just relaxing and enjoying our time. We are all here to just abstract from what is going on and to enjoy but I hope the vase is really amazing so you have already sunbased and got this done so now you can improve your drawing skills and if you want to improve your really wanting to go into drawing skills then I'm planning at the end of June my art classes online so I will post an information on my YouTube and on my Instagram later so just keep it look for it and we will be drawing diff not only flowers we will be drawing different subjects during our course and then you will learn how 
to draw and use pastels in a professional way and it's a perfect for beginners for those who want to work with these materials to learn and get tips and get beautiful pictures at the end so all levels are welcome and no need in professional <laughs> education before coming to this course so it will work perfectly if you are looking for some more serious studying of pastels because we are limited here in time and not always having time to finish all properly and you will also get like advices from me and I will be checking your work and communicating with your co-mates so this is a great opportunity to get into the community of those who are into um, pastels drawing so let's have a look what we have got here so I will go into more shadows here I would say and add a little bit purple here you see what I'm doing now I'm just shading and if you want to give more details here you will just work with your uh, pastel pencil then you will be able easily to get details well it could be added with chalks but then you will have to be very to spend more time a little bit more time that's it it's workable with both of these materials, like with chalks. It it's, depends on what you prefer to work with. So if you prefer to work with chalks, then it's great. If you want to go with your pencils and don't to mess your fingers, it's also fine. Absolutely fine, guys. So I just add a little bit. I don't see this coolness. I want to add some cool shadows here. So I'm using, uh, I'm drawing with um, Dervent usually and uh, with Stabila pencils, pastel pencils and just mixing these colors. So I'm just adding a little bit purple, like uh, you will find your own purple perfect, which you like more. So, and I will want to go to this into the details, like to give an idea of this pink petals which are not opened and you usually see them it's all about details guys so you usually see them in the flowers you see we are already popped out and now what I need I will need to add some more um, onions here so I will just use a chalk here and go randomly and I'm not using only one I'm using mixing lighter and darker and if you have dark like this it also works so a little bit like more yellow and a little bit my like more ochre so and they the secret is not going only around please go randomly a little bit not that circle it's still circle but it's, it mustn't be perfect so you understand that like catch the idea that it's not perfect circle just change it a little bit and then you will see how naturally it looks and how fantastic and beautiful it looks so i will still in order to show these flowers coming i will add a little bit more white here like you never enough <laughs> these pastels you want to go more and more and to more and more details but I know I, I'm watching on the time that I'm on the time now and in order not to be to finish I will go with green leaves now just to give you an idea in order you can finish it then by yourself and just you see I have already dropped a little bit and it's already popped up it's just amazing that I just added a little bit and it's already here it's already beautiful it's already amazing here we go so I hope you enjoy drawing with me I really enjoy and now we will go here we go we will go with the leaves so 
If you have not finished your petals, leave them and just have a look on our green leaves. I'm just using a rubber to clean my paper. And now we are drawing some leaves. I will be using just this olive uh, chalk here and um, they usually locate it randomly. I will just give in two, three of them as many as you wish. And if you know, they are usually about three leaves on each part. So, and now I'm just dropping light and shadows here. So with light from the left and dark here. And I will show with a pencil the main line here. And here. And I will use this um, darker green to show the shadow. Not too much, like not, uh, don't play too much with it. Just like this. And then you can smooth with the finger. And this is just what we needed. So lighter green mixing with shadows. But light will be actually. The secret is light is everywhere. That is the secret when you are drawing your leaves. And if you are doing it like in this, mm, just impression manner, then you go like this. And we just, here we go, we just giving an idea of our leaves. And you can walk with your pastel pencils and don't make it look like the perfect shape. It's not, it's not perfect. It goes in different direct directions. So I'm adding some light with yellow chalks here as well. And not too many. And just you can delete it with your finger. And we will add some more leaves here as well on our white flower. I will just use again and go with this and just shaping it and the same here. And then I walk with the central part and use my white pencil and here I'm going in less details than here because here I will work on details later and add some more details on these leaves but I won't be concentrated too much into many details in this right part because it's somewhere far away from us so I can just only give an idea and not go in into much details. Just giving an idea of the sleeves. And you can add like here and maybe one more here. It's just mixing it up and go in with the leaf shape. Here we go. And just walking with the light and shadow. And a little bit dark I will put on the left side of the leaves. And lighter, use lighter white pencil. Or maybe it can be a little bit um, yellow, like light yellow, and I will. It will be in the shadow and the, under the petals, so this part actually will be lighter than that one, and not too much. And this will be still in the light, so not too much details, just giving an idea of the leaves. Here 
here we go you can smooth it with the finger and go like this and work with your rubber to smooth it beautifully this is another tip for you guys and here and here's the same and here i will add some more petals um, leaves so if you if you will need more time just don't rush and add these three leaves here and three leaves here just we just give an idea we're not working into much details so and you can work on to more details on your peony flowers as well so here we go and they won't be too bright like here they will be darker but you still can add some light into your leaves and drop some shadows so and you can also add some even cold blue here and mix it up and it looks fantastic like uh, I would say very realistic and you of course can walk onto more details here and go into leaves here but if you will live like this it also will be just amazing look it's already beautiful so it, it really is and it will be a finished painting so and three more i'm drawing three more here so if you are working with um, pencils and you just need more time to work your de details just shading it and mixing it up and try not to mix it up so and this one will be in the most shadow so you still can add some light because light is coming from the petals but it will be in a more shadow like they must be darker if you are following the rules of drawing so guys don't forget to send me your beautiful artworks i'm just looking forward to hear from you i hope you really enjoy drawing with me i really do and if you will be looking Mm, this video after uh, the live stream also send me your artworks because I usually love to see I'm just love to see your artworks and to share it with others so they can see other artworks and to, it's a great motivation guys just to see when we are working all together and what we can create and this is amazing like we are creating our own beautiful stuff here from nothing we just use paper pencils and we get this beauty here so i'm just smooth a little bit with the rubber just to make it more i would say oil paint look which i love and you can leave it more realistic one so I think we are done for today guys I will switch my camera to say goodbye look how beautiful our pictures looks so I think they're just amazing hope you enjoyed drawing with me let me know in your comments thank you guys for watching this video and for drawing with me I hope you really enjoy drawing with me and I love drawing with you guys I hope to see you next weekend and don't forget to share your beautiful artworks hope you enjoy drawing and have a lovely evening i really love you guys see you soon bye bye <laughs>